What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix Discord is having no root RTC connecting problem and how we can fix this app so let me directly get into this step. So the first time for most step is all about, we just need to go over here, search for the Discord and that's what you have to try. Just open your Discord on your system and once the Discord is successfully open, we just need to wait, we can directly navigate to over here. So it is going to take a little bit of time, so the Discord is completely loaded up, so we need to wait completely for this. And once the Discord is done, we just need to go over here in the settings. Now from here, if you scroll down and directly navigate to voice and video, if you scroll down, you can see somewhere else here named voice and video. Just click on this one and navigate to over here at the bottom. You can see you'll be having options to reset. So just reset it. That's what you have to try. And most probably after the reset is successfully done, once the re reset on the voice reset is successfully done, we just need to close this. And now we need to go back on the Discord and we have to check. Next one, close this and navigate to the task manager. So if the Discord is running over here in the background, for example, right now, if you check, you can see the Discord is running. So if the Discord is running, right click on the Discord and over here we have to navigate to Discord and go for end the task and make sure the Discord is removed. And now we need to close this and we need to go to the next one. That is all about, we just need to go over here, type CMD and click on run as administrator and go for yes. Right now we need to type IP config, put a space slash flush dns and you have to press enter and once it is done just close this and we have to go over here once again we need to search for the discord just search for the discord and you have to run it and once the discord is successfully opened what we need to do is we just need to make few changes over here the first and foremost step if you are having the network so for example if you are having the server just get into this and go over here edit channel and right now from here what we need to do is we just need to go over here for the uh, you have to check with the region if the region has been set into this or if you are having an issue with the invites and all those things just make sure these things are correctly done so uh, once make sure that you know you just be turn it off this as well and you have to close this and also the next one apart from this is all about we just need to close this go over here search for the control panel and you have to click on this one and right now we need to navigate to the network and internet go for network and sharing center and what we need to do is make sure you just set this up and go over here click on the uh, change adapter settings and go over here select the wi-fi right click and go to the properties now from here go to ipv4 go over here into the properties make sure you use the following dns server and you have to set 888 and go for 884 and you have to go for 4 so that's what you have to try and once everything has been set we just need to close this and close this as well and you have to check next one is all about what we need to do is if you find just go over here close everything just go over here search for the settings and you have to click on this one and right now we need to navigate to the network and internet over here and we need to navigate to the advanced network settings and right now if you find the reset now for example if you're having the reset options over here network reset just go for reset and after the reset is successfully done most probably this will be completely fixed and this is what you have to do and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye